What is going on YouTube Averse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another episode of the top 100 songs of all time as voted by you guys. We are almost there, folks. We're in the top 15, counting down numbers 15 to 11 in this episode. So let's get right to it. At number 15, California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas from 1966. What a classic. And you know, I wouldn't have it this high on my list, but I definitely understand why it ranked this high. I mean, it is such a well-crafted song that's really, I think, under three minutes long. Beautiful uh, melodies and harmonies. My gosh, I mean, there was really nothing quite like this at the time, aside from the Beatles, obviously, with like three-part harmonies. But man, the, the sound of the vocals on this thing are just huge and vast and beautiful. And uh, what a great ode to California. Uh, just one of the greatest songs of all time. And that's just at number 15. So now at number 14. Yesterday. All my trouble seems so Yesterday by the Beatles. Really, it's uh, Paul McCartney's show on this one. He wrote this, of course, coming out of a sleep and just had the melody in his head. First wrote the word scrambled eggs and then famously changed it to yesterday. Uh, thank God. And made one of the greatest songs ever. And then, you know, just his guitar acoustic added uh, in with George Martin's, um, uh, I believe it was a, a quartet on this piece just really gives it that classical timeless sound that stands the test of time and uh, I think it's really one of all the Beatles favorite songs and for good reason it's just uh, one of the greatest ever so now at number 13 What's Going On by Marvin Gaye from 1971's album of that name. Oh my gosh, this was such a huge leap for not just Marvin Gaye, but all of Motown in general, you know, taking it from more of a singles based uh, music to full album and kind of a concept album. You know, all the songs flowed into one another. You also had Mercy, Mercy Me on that record, which is also an amazing song, but all these songs had uh, kind of a conscious message, um, you know, and this this song is just so powerful. And the music at the same time is not like in your face grabbing you by the throat. It, it's got the, that seductive Marvin Gaye smoothness to it that makes it this universal, just anthemic message of like, what is going on? How can we make the world a better place than it is now? And uh, yeah, such a beautiful track, deserves to be this high. Great choice. So now at number 12, Imagine by John Lennon, another title track from the uh, album Imagine, also from 1971. And, you know, I personally think this song should be higher on the list. I think it's one of the greatest songs of all time, uh, one of the greatest ballads ever written. And I think, you know, it beats anything that Lennon wrote with the Beatles. I think this song that uh, Yoko Ono actually influenced the writing of is just just such a beautiful sentiment of like, just like Marvin Gaye was singing about, imagine a better world and how can we make it better? And uh, man, 1971, such an amazing year in music. I mean, if I count how many songs on this top 100 are from that year, I'm sure a bulk of them are, and this is no exception. Just one of the most beautiful pieces, uh, just stripped down piano, and uh, very light drumming by Ringo, uh, bass by Klaus Vorman, also very uh, just hushed and, and letting the song speak for itself. And Phil Spector's production, not too much of a wall of sound, but adding in strings halfway through to just keep building. It, it is just gorgeous and uh, man, should be higher. So now at number 11, God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. Another just 
gorgeous, uh, one of the greatest songs ever. I mean, just the melody, you know, uh, by Brian Wilson, it just right away, it, it just grabs you and sucks you in. And then the, the music, it was nothing really quite like it at the time in 1966 off of the album Pet Sounds. And this is one of those songs where you know, Paul McCartney heard it and was like, oh my gosh, this is, you know, we have to do something to rival this because this is just one of the greatest songs ever created. And, uh, you know, the Beach Boys never sounded better than really on Pet Sounds and, uh, you know, what ended up being the Smile Sessions, uh, just that period, especially was pure magic and you can hear it all over this track so guys that is it for this episode let me know in the comments below did anything that you voted for make it in this episode what do you think is coming next we are about to enter into the top 10 so excited and let me know how you think the list has been thus far. I think you've done an excellent job as always. I mean, just uh, every single song on here has been a bona fide classic. I mean, there's been one or two that I've questioned, but overall, uh, you guys have really outdone yourselves. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.